everywhere in the world we can observe and be touched by acts of kindness. People from all walks of life, faiths, and cultures extend themselves beyond the call of duty to help others unconditionally. Through their noble deeds, humanity as a whole is elevated. To commend virtuous actions and encourage more people to be inspired by their examples, Supreme Master Ching Hai has lovingly created a series of awards, including the Shining World Leadership Award, Shining World Compassion Award, Shining World Hero and Heroine Awards, Shining World Honesty Award, Shining World Protection Award, Shining World Intelligence Award, and Shining World Inventor Award, to recognize some of the most exemplary, generous, caring and courageous people who walk among us. Today, let's meet Chloe Dowalder from Washington, USA who not only returned a large sum of money to its grateful owner, but on the very same day helped save the life of another. 19-year-old Chloe Dowalder is a university student who wishes, through her career, to help others such as in the humanitarian field. Her dream job is to work for the United Nations. I did this thing with the invisible children called the Global Night Commute, and it was to bring awareness to the situation of young children in Sudan and Uganda. So if they have to walk miles where, to get to a safe place to sleep, um, so they're not taken by the rebel group. Mm -hmm. And so I just wanted to get involved. We wrote letters to the senators asking them to stand up and get help in Uganda. Mm -hmm. We're still working on it. Chloe is a full-time student paying her own way through college. When she is not in classes, she works as an employee of the Mercer Island Thrift Shop. I work there 20 hours a week, so three days. Mm -hmm. um, that's a really good job. I love it. Mm -hmm. It's a nonprofit for Mercer Island Youth and Family Services, mm -hmm. and it's just really fun. One day, while sifting through a bin of donated clothing, Chloe found 9,000 US dollars in savings bonds rolled up in a pair of jeans. I was actually outside sorting through clothing and there was an envelope and I opened it and it, I was looking and I didn't quite know what it was so I asked mm -hmm. somebody mm -hmm. um, but it had this guy's name on it and so we looked him up in the phone book, called mm -hmm. him up and he came and got him that, later that day. So what did you feel and what did you think when you found the money? So I was like, oh, and then I just realized that somebody's missing $9,000. So mm -hmm. um, I actually kind of got excited to return that mm -hmm. um, to him. I was just happy that I could be like a good part in his day. Mm -hmm. So it, it was, you didn't have any doubts or dilemma about what you should do? Not at all. No, that's, mm -hmm. I grew up and I value honesty. So definitely just wanted to get those back to him. Yeah. He was really it. grateful. He came in and we talked for a little bit and mm -hmm. gave me a hug and he was really, really happy and grateful. So. Mm -hmm. What Chloe did impressed many people, but actually her day of doing good wasn't over yet. Just an hour later, an elderly customer experienced a seizure in the store's dressing room. Chloe offered first aid whilst waiting for the paramedics to arrive. I was upstairs working and putting stuff away and right behind mm -hmm. me I just heard a thud and um, this older woman was having a seizure. I had first responder training in high school so oh, yeah. I knew that she for a seizure like go on the side so I just kind of helped her get into I mean, a more safe kind of position and yelled for someone to call 911 and paramedics got there and I heard from her sister the day after that and she was fine. Her sister was really happy that she was okay. Later, Chloe once commented that she does not feel she is a hero, saying, I'm sure a lot of people would do the same thing. 
She gave much credit for her high moral standard to her parents and her older sister. Um, we had all of just the general kind of manners, values. Um, the golden rule was always drilled into us. So mm -hmm. do unto others as you would have done to yourself. So mm -hmm. that was, and loyalty and respect are definitely things I learned as a child and I really value now. Mm -hmm. I value loyalty and respect and honesty. For her righteous actions, Chloe Dowalder was honored with the Shining World Honesty Award from Supreme Master Ching Hai, along with a 5,000 US dollar scholarship toward her college education. All in the course of a noble day's work. You do honor to your country by being a first-class citizen in every way. We are touched by your exemplary honesty and your caring response to another person in distress. For sincerely and diligently striving to uphold the highest moral standards of good citizenship and for being a dedicated and noble role model, we hereby applaud and celebrate the shining honest deeds of Miss Chloe Dawalder, model world citizen. Heaven will most surely bless your kind and self selfless acts with manifold joyful returns. With great honor, love and blessings, the Supreme Master Ching Hai. In addition to receiving the award plaque, recognition letter, and 5,000 US dollar scholarship from Supreme Master Ching Hai, Chloe was also presented with gifts, including Supreme Master Ching Hai's number one international best-selling books, The Dogs in My Life and The Birds in My Life, as well as Supreme Master Ching Hai's music CDs and poetry collection, Pebbles and Gold. We wish you all the best, Chloe, in your noble endeavors. May your future be bright in service to those in need. Michelle, Jessica, and Jennifer Pienka are sisters from Utah, USA. As hardworking students, they grew up with good moral values and interest in helping others in their future. But one day, Michelle, age 21, and Jessica, age 16, were faced with an unusual situation, what some would call a test or even temptation. decided to go to the grocery store um, late at night to get some groceries and they were mm -hmm. pulling in the parking lot and Jessica looks over and sees a black bag in a shopping cart and so I get out of the car and I get it and I put it in my trunk and then we go in the grocery store and get our groceries. The sisters recognized that the black duffel bag must have been forgotten and decided to try and return it to the owner. take it home and go through the bag and we found a driver's license and some gym clothes and other stuff and then we opened up the side pocket and found all of the money. What, what was your initial reaction Jessica? Oh well I was pretty shocked. The cash in the bag totaled 17,811 US dollars, more than the sisters had ever seen in their lives. Unsure why there was such a large sum of money abandoned late at night, they made another smart decision. Then we called the police and they came and got it. Oh, great. The bag with the cash belonged to Mr. Ben Huntsman, a car salesman who had not had time to deposit his sales earnings. When he realized he had forgotten his bag, he reported it to the police, who did their best to search the parking lot, even in the dumpsters, to no avail. Fortunately, when the Pienka family called, the police were immediately able to contact the bag's owner and return the money. We got to meet him the next day. Um, he came over to our house to bring us a card and tell us thank you for returning it. And he was really nice. The grateful owner also gave the sisters a 250 US dollar reward. 
The Pienka sisters know that if it ever happened again, they would not hesitate to do the same. We knew yeah. we could never, we would never keep it. We, it wasn't ours. And we knew that whoever lost it needed it back. <laughs> so mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we knew we had to give it back. Mm-hmm. It felt good to give it back to him because he was really worried about it. So. Upon meeting the sisters, we found out there was more to the story. My dad um, works for the sheriff's department. Oh. And so we asked him what to do. So he told us just call the police and then, so we did. It was thus a family effort involving Mr. and Mrs. Pianka as well. My wife called me and said that my daughters had found a large sum of money. And so I instructed my uh, um, daughters and my wife to uh, go ahead and notify the police. There was, um, the police arrived and um, they uh, determined who the owner of the money was. My daughters and uh, my wife, they all made a decision to uh, make sure that the uh, money was returned back to the uh, owner. And and that was done. And so it had a happy ending. So I'm really proud of them. They're very honest girls. And um, I think it it tells a lot about their their character. They they were always taught to to do the right thing, to uh, always be honest. Michelle and Jessica Pienka were honored with the Shining World Honesty Award from Supreme Master Ching Hai. The following is an excerpt from the Letter of Recognition. Humanity learns by seeing and hearing. All those who heard the story have looked into their own hearts to check which path they would have taken and been inspired and uplifted by you. We sincerely thank you both and applaud and celebrate the shining honesty of Michelle and Jessica Pienka. With great honor, love, and blessings, Supreme Master Ching Hai. Along with the award, Michelle and Jessica each received a 500 US dollar gift for the purchase of books. Jessica is in one of the busiest years of high school while Michelle is preparing for nursing school. In addition, they received presents including Supreme Master Ching Hai's number one international best-selling books, The Dogs in My Life and The Birds in My Life, and Supreme Master Ching Hai's DVDs and music CDs. The sisters express their appreciation for Supreme Master Ching Hai's loving recognition. I want to tell her thank you for all of her gifts and everything she's done. And um, just thank you. And she's a really nice lady. We applaud today's Shining World Honesty Award recipients, Michelle, Jessica, and Chloe, for your pure integrity demonstrated in your daily lives. With warm wishes to you and your good-hearted families, we pray that soon all humanity will walk in the neighborly love. Thank you, gracious viewers, for your company today. Please now join us for words of wisdom after noteworthy news here on Supreme Master Television. Blessed be your unconditional kindness. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash ee.